In this lesson, we're going to learn now the probably the most difficult interval is the second. What's going to happen now when you go to the fourth, to a second? So a fourth, a third, and a second join. And going to the second, what's going to happen here is this stick you're going to go is lightly down. So if you see here my hand in the second position will be more a standing position. See how the, the hand changes? It goes more up. You see my thumb is going up. So in the second position, I almost have this motion. I will not have more, you see this motion, not the original wrist position, but almost this. That's to compensate the closer interval and the lack of the torque. So third and second, third and second. Let's take a closer look here. So we are in a third and we go to the second. See, this is lightly go down. Still a lot of space here. So third and second. So this, that will be the position of the second. See, the stick is still not touching. See here, the pinky finger is important because originally the pink finger is touching the palm. Now, if you want to close, the pink finger will be on the way. So relax the pink finger to leave them a little bit more space. But that's the important thing. Is still the, the ring finger is holding the mallet. So that's it. Third, second, and third. Now some table exercise for the third and the second. So third and second, third and second. So is lightly up. Okay, the same thing we did before. Try to keep here the second, interval of the second, and go more here, closer, and here. And now try to get the interval of second and feel it, how it goes. So now changing intervals from the third to the second, that's going to be exercise number nine. So third and the second. Okay, so... Make space for your body. And so on. Okay? So go on, practice this exercise, and see you in the next lesson.